you don't have to look far to see how amazing nature is. But there's a huge spectrum in what activism means. I think my involvement probably started because of where I live. Um, it's a small village on the west coast of Wales called Fairborn. Within the next 30 years, the entire village will be lost to the sea. For too long, like the microphone just doesn't get handed to indigenous youths, for example. Whenever you hear the word indigenous, it's so easy to think of romantic tribal people running around singing chants around the fire. Um, and that's often what you see in mainstream media. When getting urban people to represent, you know, that's the only way you're going to connect urban people to the scene. Sometimes I sit there and question, am I going too slowly? And I have to check myself and say, actually, I'm doing something. I'm being active. And that is activism. Feeling eco-anxiety or climate anxiety or overwhelm or fear or however you want to describe it or however you might experience it is a perfectly natural response to the situation that we're in. Speaking to that um, less individual and more sustainable community method of saying, this is not all on me. I am not the voice of my generation. I am a person with wants, needs, and I need to be able to sit down sometimes. Everyone who does whatever type of activism, whether that looks like direct action or whether that looks like curation or science or storytelling, um, you wouldn't do it if you didn't care. And I think that's the part that we need to kind of capitalize on is what makes people care and the same thing doesn't make everyone care. If football doesn't trailblaze a sustainability transition, I don't I really don't know what else is gonna be able to do that within the time frame that we need it to happen. These these important topics can be they can be talked about through music um, and reach people who wouldn't necessarily go to say a climate protest or a BLM protest for whatever reason. So as young people, as people who aren't currently represented if we don't feel like we've got a stake in the game or as though we're not being listened to, then we're gonna feel disempowered. We're gonna feel like we don't have a say and we're not going to act. And that's apathy when really we need a generation of action. I swear to God, if Leicester can win the Premier League, we can avert the climate crisis like 100% because that was impossible. <laughs>